I'm Alistair at Beamable. In this video, I would like to show some of the improvements that we've put in the announcements feature of messaging campaigns. So without further ado, I'm going to drill into my dev realm, go to communicate campaigns. Let's start an announcement campaign. The big thing that I want to show here is the improvements to the ability to put images in announcement campaigns. So let's call this picture announcement. Here it is announcement type, put it in a channel and thumbnails work much the same as they have. Just put a URL. Where it gets interesting is images in the body of an announcement. So say this announcement has pictures. Here's an announcement with a picture. A little bit of text there. And then we can put a picture in. So this interface is a little bit different than it has been before. We already have a sample image in here tagged as a monkey. So when I click on the monkey tag, that populates the search bar up here. Since we only have one image, that's not having much effect. But if we do upload some images, so I've got a picture of a cat that I found on Wikimedia Commons. I'm going to upload that. And the ID here is starts out as the file name, but we can change it to whatever we want. And we can say, hey, this is a cat. So these tags are much like the monkey tag on the previous photo, things that we can search by to filter things down if we have dozens or hundreds of images. And thinking ahead, I'm, I know that I'm going to want to distinguish between animals that are pets and animals that are not pets. So I'm going to put also the pet tag on this image. So we can save that. That uploads it to our library, and from here on out, that'll be usable in this announcement and any announcements we create in the future. And so we can do that with multiple images. So I've got another cat here with different colored eyes. Tag it with the same tags as before. Cat and pet. Save that. And just to help us visualize the, the way that tagging works, I've also got a picture of a cute puppy. So this is also a pet, but I have a new tag to add, dog. And since it's a new tag that I'm adding, I have to hit enter to create that tag. Save that. And now we can take a look at the cat. If we filter down by pets, that shows us these three that we added, but not the monkey. If I filter down to cat, it shows only the cats. And if I type in dog up here, it shows me the puppy. So the other thing that we can do is remove items from the library. So say I didn't actually want to use this first cat picture after all. Since I've not used it in any, any announcements, I can just go ahead and get rid of it. There is a warning here that say that all references to it will no longer be functional, but since we haven't used it yet, I'm okay with that. Go ahead and remove it. So bring in the other cat. I want to make it a little bit smaller than the entire width so it doesn't overwhelm the announcement. There we go. And I can cancel to get rid of the dialog. We take a look at the preview. Here's an announcement with a picture in it, and we've uploaded that, and we can reuse that image in future announcements. Another feature that I'd like to show with this same announcement here is a pretty cool new feature that is auto-translation. So I've typed it in in English, but if we wanted to, say, bring this to French, it automatically translates, and it allows us to edit these after the fact. I'm just going to leave them as is. For my purposes, this automatic machine translation is sufficient, but it's possible to have it auto-translate and then edit after the fact. And this auto-translation is only here for a few languages. So for instance, if we tried to translate it into Esperanto, that's not enabled, so we'll have to type that in ourselves. So I'm going to 
get rid of the Esperanto, this X here. Keep it to just English and French. And we can switch our preview between English and French. Nice and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and create that campaign and move on to another thing that I wanted to show, which is more of a bug fix than a feature. But uh, we have fixed the ability to put query parameters. So query parameters in announcements will no longer be translated into HTML entities. So for instance, the, the ampersand So just putting in subject and a summary. The key thing is that if there is a URL that has query parameters, such as one of the searches that I did on Wikimedia Commons, it'll have a question mark in it. It'll have equal signs and these ampersands for the various query parameters. So this, this URL is automatically treated like a button and I can add some text as well. And if we look at a preview, we can see that the and signs, the equal signs, and the question mark come through as they should. Also, looking at the HTML rendering of it, we see that there they are, just and signs and equal signs and question marks, none of the expanded things that, uh, that we don't want to see in there. So we want to keep it nice and simple. We can continue through to the final preview before saving and see that the URL with the query parameters survives intact as we want it to. So that is it for the latest round of improvements to announcements in message campaigns. Thank you for watching.